is, um, I think, intended primarily for practitioners. So the whole methodology of the book is one that tries to distill knowledge from practice and make it available both to other practitioners and also feed into theory and, and get the links from theory back into practice. So the primary audience would be practi educational practitioners, but I think it would be of interest to researchers as well. Again, because it gives that, uh, you know, that thick data of what, what educational practice really looks like on the ground. This book started um, in, a, in a long series of workshops that we've been running. Uh, so we ran these workshops where we would bring it together, um, you know, teachers, educational managers, um, software developers, content developers, learning designers, so a diverse audience around a particular theme. And we use this format which you call design narratives. Uh, so that was kind of the, the prime way of, of communicating um, an experience of something that you try to change in your practice, something that you try to innovate, um, the, sort of the obstacles that you encountered, the way you overcame them and, and what was the final result. And then from these design narratives we would look at similarities between these narratives and extract recurring patterns. And these gave us a design pattern. So you know, after running these workshops and like through the survey project, we thought it would be good to bring this knowledge together and, and make it available to a wider audience. Mm -hmm. The fundamental uh, statement here is that, that teaching is, is a design practice. Uh, when you think about design as an attempt to change the world, right? That's kind of Herbert Simon's famous quote that anyone designs who engages in uh, a course of action that changes existing situations into desired ones. So, you know, if that isn't education, then what is? Um, so, the first thing was, you know, getting people to really conceive their practice as a design practice. Technology is always um, a means to an end. So whatever it is that you want to do, you want to essentially induce some, some educational experience, some learning experience. And then you do use whatever means are at your disposal. A lot of those means would be technology because you know, we're surrounded by technology and we make the use, best use of it that we can.